What is good, YouTube? Dope Civic back another video. First off, I want to apologize for the week in between videos. Um, I had ideas and had an install that I was planning on doing, but um, the part never came and I was told it was in stock and when I purchased it and then suddenly it no longer was in stock. So um, that screwed over a video idea. And then I had to also buy new um, hinges. I think you would have these little hood brackets. Um, got the passenger and driver side brand new because ran into some major issues, fitment issues with installing the carbon fiber hood. Um, these were very tweaked. This one was tweaked because of the accident where someone hit me. Um, and I tried to strain it out as best as I could and just couldn't get it straight. So I bought brand new ones right here and I'm going to install those and put the hood on and hopefully that fixes it. So we'll see if you are needing to do this, I will show you guys how you need to do it. So there's just two bolts right here, this one and this one that you need to uh, loosen up obviously take the hood off first and you just do that on both it does look like it is also connected to the fender so um, you have to take this off as well and I don't think you need to take the fender off it looks like you could just pull it out but we'll see once we get to that hoping we don't have to take the fenders off that's a pain in the ass so we'll see all right so we got the hood off as you can see and this is the one I think is the problem so it's, to me, it looks very bent. Also, um, just looks very bent and kind of just twisted and it's also hitting that piece, which I don't think it's supposed to, but if you look where that one is sitting like that, and then you come over to this side, this one is like sitting on the plastic right here. So that one is hitting this piece and this one is on top of this plastic so yeah to me they're all screwed up so we're gonna replace them and see if that fixes it all right so you don't need to remove the fender but i suggest moving this out of the way because it's usually clipped in right there and you only have that little spot if you pull this out you have all the room over there to get to the bolt back there but um yeah they do look this does still hit right there so i think that one was the big major issue, but I figured replace them both to see if, you know, that fixes it or not. So I'm gonna install this one and the other one and then see if it fixes it or not. All right, so this is the passenger one that was on the car. If you see the angle of it versus this one, it's a big difference now. The other, the driver's side one looks like this, so. I believe this is the OEM one. I believe this one was fine considering it looks identical to that one, but the passenger side one, very, very bent. So got high hopes this is gonna fix it. We'll, we'll see. And there we go. So after an hour of dicking around with it, I did replace all the brackets and had to just sit there and go back and forth moving the hood a little bit left and right until it finally fit so um, yeah fits absolutely perfect now the gaps are really really good um, yeah super happy with how it came out took a long time been doing this for probably two two and a half hours just to get this stupid hood on but it now fits looks good but Definitely gonna put some um, hood pins in it as well, just to, for more safety. But yeah, that'll be it for today's video, guys. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel, as always. We're like five subs away from 200, so get in there. Appreciate everything, and peace out, guys.